everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hala and today I'm gonna teach you arm positions and movement in belly dance. This is part of the beginner series in English. So if you haven't checked the other videos out, I'm gonna link the playlist up here for you. You can check it out later. So now today we're gonna learn how to position your arms and where to position them and how can you move your arm during your dancing. So we have here uh, positions that are actually very close to the ballet arm positions and they're numbered in the same way, but we articulate the arms in a little bit of a different way because we want to make it more oriental and soft. So first we put the arms here, second here, third, fourth, and fifth. So we want to keep the elbow out in all the positions. We want it always bent. So if this is my bicep, I want it to be bent away from my bicep. So even if I put it in second position, it's bent down. Also here same and here same. So you can, you can think of it as my arm is the same. It's just traveling to different positions. See? Because I'm pivoting my arm this way and this way. Pivot, pivot. So from your shoulders. So pivot in, pivot out, move to the top, move down. All right. So for the first position, you want to keep your arms a little bit to the side and to the back of your hips. So not parallel to your hips, but a little bit behind your hips. You can relax your fingers and keep your middle finger more relaxed than your other fingers. So you want it this way, shoulders down and to the back, chest out. The elbow is bent as we talked about. And I need you to move it as it is just pivot it up so elbows bent down fingers pointing outwards and shoulders down and then we move up same i want your shoulders to be pressed down make sure not to do that so keep your shoulders pressed down also it's like you're holding a beach ball and then if you want to uh, have the 90 degree arms you want one down in second position and one up so right down and left up it's similar to the second position nothing changed and we can do it the other way around as well and both arms to the front chest level this way also like we're holding a beach ball and you also can do it in the front which is similar to the back so back side up 90 degrees and front back side 90 degrees up front all right so these are your basic arm positions make sure to always press press your shoulders down elbows bent and fingers pointing outwards you don't want to do that you don't want to break your hands down like this so fingers always having energy pointing outwards upwards down See, they're always extending. That's the most important part. All right, guys, now let's move to arm movements. One very popular move is the snake arms, which is the waving or undulating arms to the side. So actually you can do the snake arms in all, in all the positions we just learned. So you can do it here in the bottom. You can do it the side you can do it up and you can do it in the front as well so once you learn the mechanics of this move you can do it anywhere all right so the mechanics of this move or the technique of this move starts from the shoulder so we want to roll our shoulders in circles to the back so circle to the back circle to the back I want you to isolate your shoulder blade from your upper body and from your arms so when i once when i move my shoulder i don't want my chest to move and i don't want my arm to move so i'm not doing this and i'm not doing this this okay so no chest movement and no arm movement so it's only my shoulder rolling back 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 also on the left so the shoulder circle it's four points 
together, which is front, up, back, and down, front, up, back, and down. So once you connect these movements, you make a shoulder circle. So make sure you master the circle first before you move to the other points. After the circle, we want to lift our elbow up. So our elbow rises this way as if we are tied from our elbow and someone is playing with us like a puppet. We want our elbow to rise this way. After my elbow rises, I need my hand to rise as if I'm swimming in water. I want my hand to be relaxed down and not this way. So I want it to rise up as if I'm resisting water. So this way up. Once I reach to the top with my hand, I need my shoulder to drop and then my elbow to drop and then lastly my hand will drop. So that's the most important part about undulating arms or snake arms is that my shoulder starts and then my elbow follows and then my hand. And the same thing for falling, my shoulder falls first, then my elbow, then my hand. So it's always in this order. Shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, hand. Shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, hand. And they're actually moving. So when my shoulder starts to drop, my hand is still rising. So it's not as if I move one part and then I stop and then go to the other. No, they're actually moving while the other is starting. So my shoulder starts and my shoulder hasn't finished yet, but my elbow is rising and my elbow hasn't finished rising. Now my hand is rising. While my hand is rising, my shoulder is dropping and my elbow is dropping while my hand is still rising. And then my hand drops. All right. All right, so that's for one arm, shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, hand. So my shoulder rises in the first half of the circle and drops in the second half of the circle. So front and up and then elbow, hand, and then shoulder goes back and drop and then the elbow and hand drop, okay? So this way and drop, this way and drop, this way and drop this way and drop and when my hand drops i need my fingers to point the other way so when i was rising my fingers were down now when i'm falling my fingers are up so as if i'm swimming all right so now if we're gonna do two arms at the same time i need one to rise and the other to fall so they are in contrast with each other so my right is going up and then when it's falling my left is going up right so one at a time to make this movement more elegant you need to shorten your range of motion. So don't go from all the way here to all the way here. That's a bit flaky. You're going to feel like there's no coordination. But once you shorten your range of motion, it will be here. See, you're undulating in a very small range of motion. So my hand is not actually falling and dropping that much. It's staying in this range, right? So rise and fall, rise and fall rise and fall, right and left, right and left, right and left. Do you see the difference? If I did it like this, it's like, like wings almost <laughs> trying to fly. It's not that elegant, but when, once you shorten your range of motion, it's very elegant and beautiful. You can do it slow, you can do it fast, whichever works for you. And as I said in the beginning of this video, you can undulate your arms in any of the positions. So I can undulate here, it's the same technique. Undulate here, undulate to the top, right? My hands could be facing each other or facing away from each other, both works, right? This is away and this is facing each other. And then I can also undulate here in the front, right? Awesome, guys. So this is the end of our video for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell because I have more videos coming in English for you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.